There's been, of course, a lot of anxiety after this profit warning from Kering, the owner of Gucci, uh, last month, especially, as you mentioned, about the exposure in China and in the U.S., uh, which is not totally recovering for the uh, luxury sector. And if you look at the fashion and leather division for LVMH, which is the most important because it includes their label, Louis Vuitton, also Christian Dior and Céline, uh, the organic sales in the first quarter are up just uh, 2%. As you mentioned, that's the weakest quarter since 2016, if you exclude uh, the pandemic. Of course, very tough comparison uh, in the first quarter of uh, last year, where sales were up 18%. Chinese demand uh, still not totally recovering. And even though uh, Chinese demand for this specific division is actually up 10%, if you consider also Chinese travelers abroad, uh, LVMH overall sales in Asia, excluding Japan, are down 6% uh, in the quarter. And meanwhile, the U.S is not totally recovering. We're not seeing this recovery story quite yet for uh, LVMH. It's impacting also the wines and spirits division. That includes Dom Perignon Champagne, Moet, and Cognac. Uh, cognac makers impacted on one side by U.S. retailers being much more cautious about cognac in their stores, and also this uh, probe into uh, makers of cognac in China. So the wines and spirits division suffering also in the first quarter with organic sales down uh, 12%. One bright spot for LVMH in this first quarter was selective retail with uh, Sephora and organic sales there up uh, 11%. But the jewelry with Tiffany Bulgari also suffering down 2%. Overall, LVMH saying they remain both vigilant and confident for the rest of this year. Caroline, what is the broader read across then from this LVMH earnings story for the rest of the luxury sector? Kering, of course, uh, was a very specific story because they suffer from uh, also a designer transition at Gucci. But clearly, LVMH is more resilient usually. They have 75 brands. They have a more diverse portfolio. Uh, so usually they can spread across the difficulties they may find in some uh, markets. But the aspirational consumer is still not back. Uh, the uh, Chinese consumer is more picky. The Chinese consumer uh, spends less but by is better. Uh, this has brought, for example, one city analyst uh, to say that eventually, potentially, Hermes could actually surpass Louis Vuitton uh, in China. Uh, the reaction from mm. analysts about this LVMH release last night was quite uh, muted. If you see one analyst from Jeffries talking about uh, uh, it's fine in absolute, uh, still unclear on relative, uh, this uh, other analyst uh, from City talks about sales in line mm -hmm. with very low bar expectations in still a okay. subdued demand environment. We'll see how this goes uh, for the second half of the year and Caroline. we'll get Hermes next week.